A little bit of a poke. Yeah. Some stinging in there. That's worse than being needled. What's that? That's worse than being needled. It is. Yeah, it is definitely. And it's that his nerves run up on both sides of that toe. The nice thing about the littler toes, I can almost inject it all without having to move that needle. Oh, yeah. And get it to go all the way around that toe. And just one little one on the other side will be good. Okay. Little poke. Yeah, she had to take out glass out of my foot the other day. Oh no. On the bottom of my foot and I had to get yeah. that. It was the worst. Oh, part the worst part of it. Huh? Well, let's yeah. lift your foot oh, one more time just straight up for me. Okay. This is, might be the worst one, okay? Yeah. A little poke. A little tender down there. Yep. And yeah, a little burning. No, I can't. Do you see what I'm trying to accomplish? It's just that white ring that goes all the way around there. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Go ahead and relax your foot. We'll let that get nice and numb. So we got to give it time to let the numbing medicine get in there and do it its thing. It's like yeah. you get your mouth in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, oh, my toe is weird. And so our, our biggest mistake that we make is we try to go too fast. And we don't give the numbing medicine time to get the nerves. So the nerves run down the side of your toe. Uh -huh. And um, and so we're, we're hitting that numbing medicine here. And we've got to give it time to get to the tip of your toe and numb the tip of your toe. So the very tip of your toe will still have some sensation and feeling, even though this part back here be completely numb. Okay. And we just want to be patient and give it a little bit of time sure. to get that there. And then once it gets down there, then you won't you won't feel anything. It's a nail bed. So let me know if there's any point where you do feel any sharp pain okay. at all in here, okay? And so we just kind of use this little elevator tool, and we just get up underneath of there. And we want to separate the skin from that top part of the nail all the way back to the base of the nail bed. And just push that nail bed off of the nail. And I didn't get enough of the tourniquet out of there to keep it from bleeding. Mm -hmm. So we just free that nail bed up on the top like that. See how it's kind of freed up on, on there? Mm -hmm. And then the next thing we have to do is we have to go underneath and do the same thing. So she got that, that fungus and that curved nail. It's all dystrophic nail. So it's not going to grow to the normal nail that I she has here. I learned about that in hair school. Yeah. So the nails, once the nails become damaged, then they won't stay straight. They become curvy. And then she's got this fungus infection underneath of there. Why they told me I couldn't perform on a nail like that and had to refer them to a doctor. Yep. I see that now. So just doing the same thing under the nail that I did on the top where I'm just kind of freeing it up from the nail bed down there and allows it to be able to pull out without ripping the skin uh, underneath of there. You definitely wouldn't want to do this without numbing the toe. Mm -mm. Although I have done it on one patient with no numbing because he had neuropathy and he couldn't feel his toe. Oh. He had got it in a cot and ripped ripped part of his toe oh. off and so we had to grab it and do it. All right, then you reach in and get a good hold of it. That's what my nail looks like. And you just pull straight pull back. Out. Yep, and you can see it kind of loosens up from there. And give a good pull. And out comes a big nail. It looks huge there. It's huge. Yeah. I know, right? It's a lot yeah. bigger than it, than it looks like it is. And so when she heals, it'll, she'll heal with just that skin, mm -hmm. just looking like that. As you can see where that, that skin is at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't look bad once it's off, right? No, it looks yeah. a lot better off, don't yeah. you think? Yeah. <laughs> I think, it, I think it look, they look a lot better off. And so when the skin heals, it actually looks even better than that. Yeah. Because then all that, because it'll, it'll scale up now with the medicine and everything that we have to use to get it to die off. was an infection under the nail and they get down here into the base of the toe where I'm putting this little piece of cotton and um, they cause an infection and the problem is that they're protected by the nail so they get down there where they want to be where nothing can get to them and they hide from everything 
And as they get down there and they hide, then the body cannot kill it. And so I gotta get this acid underneath of that skin where that nail bed originated from. And I gotta push it up underneath of there. And you can see that that cotton ball is turning black mm -hmm. and that's the cauterization the acid is doing to the nail bed. Mm -hmm. And so we do that three times and that'll cauterize off that nail bed so the nail bed doesn't allow for a nail to grow back. What's up? It really does start eating away, doesn't mm -hmm, it? It really does. Somebody had to do this for the first time to figure it all out. You know? Yeah. You have to figure out, you have to put acid on this at the end. Right. You know? Isn't that crazy? How many times you have to do it until they figure it all out? Hundreds of years, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> You've never thought about that. It's like, well, <laughs> When did you think that that was okay? <laughs> I mean, it works. Yeah, we get it, but... Let's put some acid on somebody. <laughs> I know, right? Who who yeah. who was the first person to volunteer for that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, just throw some acid in my foot. I'll see what happens. You know, yeah. like, did their toe come back? <laughs> did they did they come back two weeks later with no toe? Right. Was that a trial and error type thing? Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, the sad thing about that is that when they used to do research, they did research on people who were in the jail and prison oh, and disabled yeah. people who couldn't defend themselves. <gasps> And so they use them as guinea pigs. And, and mentally, dis and mentally mental, disabled. Mentally disabled. Yeah. Mentally ill mentally, people. mentally handicapped people that, that couldn't, had no idea what they were doing. And they did yeah. all kinds yeah. of research projects on them. And now, like, our research is way, way more ethical. You know, yeah. you, can't, you can't do research on somebody who cannot consent sure. um, on their own without really, you have to have really big consent. And you can't even use um, people who are in jail. It's not even a population. There are... Our populations of people considered to be high risk populations and like mm -hmm. jailed people and stuff like that are high risk for abuse um, in in that setting and sure. and um, it's interesting like I, I will read stories of you okay Nick yep. okay I'll read stories of, of some of the studies that were done in Germany and stuff and 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 it's crazy some of these studies they did on these kids mm -hmm. and um, I've seen stuff like that about a sane asylum uh -huh. back in like the 1800s mm -hmm. 1900s yep. that they would try like electric shock therapy oh, yeah. to their heart and like yep. people would die just to see just yeah people just would to just see die if it would work if they could cure just see if they could bring them back they'd kill them just to see if they could bring them back yeah. knowing that they were gonna die if, if they couldn't bring them back i mean it's just some of the so stuff they did was crazy okay now this part is where i'm gonna counter the effect of that acid so lift your foot for me just for a second okay go ahead and let that rest back down on there i'm gonna get kind of cold real quick okay. How are you feeling? Fine. Mm -hmm. Good. I can't feel a thing. Good. It helps that it's on your toe. You can't really see what's going yeah. on, too. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. right where it needs to be. Yeah. Like right where I cannot see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 